Greetings traders, it is Monday, August 6, 2018 and I've just taken a short position right here. Uh, stop is already set to 69.61 and um, I'm going to go for 100 ticks on this trade. Uh, the daily chart is looking like that right there. Got a nice big green bar up and um, I'm looking for it to come all the way back down again. So anyway, code has given uh, a, well, actually the code has not technically given an entry either way. Um, I am using a, a temp entry uh, code one into this trade here. Uh, we'll find out if it's right or not. If it hits the stop, of course, I will go long. It will be a breakout technique at that point. I'll be back. Okay, uh, trade is continuing to move down here. And by checking the code, okay, we still do not have mathematical confirmation that the code is a short entry. However, we do have another another code giving a short entry here, but it could be offset. Could be offset. Let's see here. What's the trigger? It's going to be Okay. All right. Uh, so right now we're looking good, but I am waiting on mathematical confirmation that the code 2 is a short. Once it is, then I will know that it, it's going to continue to go down, that I've got the right direction. Shouldn't be a problem from here. Um, what's going to happen is it's going to go all the way back down again. Uh, quite possibly it'll go all the way down and go red, or possibly it'll go all the way down and then later bounce back up again. There's different scenarios. Um, right now it is looking very good. But the code is always in motion and it could change. And um, But right now we are looking very good. Got the entry right. And um, see if this one will be good for 100 ticks. Anyway, I will come back. By the way, I hope all of you code traders had a great weekend. I uh, went away for the weekend up to Bangkok, Thailand to do some shopping and a lot of good shopping in Bangkok. Not so much here in Phuket. Not so easy to uh, buy clothes and um, things like that. Things that you really want. I mean they have malls and stuff like that but not anywhere near compared to Bangkok. They have the biggest malls, the most incredible amazing shopping up there. You get lost in the place. It, they're so big. Anyway, um, so I hope you had a great weekend, and uh, you code traders who are taking this uh, first code, code two, you are doing well so far. Actually, um, it depends on which you, which way you played it. Let's see here. It was initially offset, but it looks like it may be off. Uh, the real offset is at the temp. That's what that's the one I took. So anyway, yeah, we're we're about to get mathematical confirmation here. That the code two is going to be down. Okay, I'll come back. Okay, we do have mathematical confirmation that the code two is a short. So that means it's going to go down considerably here. And um, there's the 10 minute. And here's the daily. See it coming down nice on the daily. Um, it looks like it's going to completely uh, reverse and go red on the daily here. But it, it might not. It might not. It might bounce back up. But right now the code 
the code and the action and everything like look very good for it to come all the way down. The, but the, the daily chart, look for the U-code traders and always stress to look at the daily chart, the daily chart does not look good right now. It doesn't look good for anything it does. The only thing it looks good for is to go back up again. It doesn't look good to roll over and go red. It does. It just does not look good. So we can't really use the daily right now so much for, for a guide. Just use the code. Anyway, I will be back. Okay, it is uh, moving down pretty good here. Uh, let's see here, the exit is for 100 ticks. It's sitting down at 68.41 for a 100 tick trade. Uh, getting fairly close there, fairly quickly. Uh, take a look at the code here. Uh, it's a possibility we could get a bounce right here, but I don't think so. Not with the not with the ten minute looking like that. And let's take a look at the daily. Now the daily doesn't look so great. So the only thing that we can envision now is that it's going to go down and going to go red. It it doesn't look good for a red. It doesn't look good for a actually it looks better for a green to go back up than it does for it to go red. But just because it doesn't look good does not mean that's not what it's going to do obviously we don't go by that we go by the code we got a code two. we have two code two short entries one of them is mathematically confirmed that it is a short another one it has not been mathematically confirmed yet it is a possibility that it could bounce here and actually give a long signal the chances of that are uh, not too good Chances of that are, are not too good, but but it could happen though. It it, uh, it it definitely does happen. It could happen, so I don't want to take away that possibility. But the, the the other mathematical possibility that it will keep on going is better mathematically. I don't know by how much. Uh, it's hard to judge something like that. I'd I'd probably say, well, if the chart looked good, I could go with it. The mathematic, the chart does not look good. Here's here's a possibility. It's just going to go up and down in this range, and it'll go it'll go down on one coat, up on another. And it'll be a tight, choppy day. That's a pretty good possibility. Another pretty good possibility is that it'll actually start bouncing and go all the way back up again. That's a pretty good possibility too. And the other one is that it'll it'll go down and actually go red. And that certainly is possible. Like um, something like this. Except for it actually would go red. Let's see if I can find one. Oh, there's lots of them, I suppose. But I'm just, I'm just trying to find one that looks like it. Something like this. I doubt it would go down that much, though. But you never know. It's pretty choppy on the daily right now. And today's Monday, so it's just getting started for the week. It could take any direction, not based upon the previous weeks. Because this is a different code. Every week it looks like it may bounce here. Yeah. Alright. I'm going to jump out of the trade. Take a look at the 10 minute here. I'm going to jump out of the trade for now. The other one, let's see, the first one is a short and it moved off the temp. This one appears to be moving off the temp as well, and it's a long. Take a look here. Let's see the code. Okay. I would get into this trade short again if I could get like, um, actually never mind, I won't do that. If I do that then I'm not strictly playing the code and I don't want to do these videos not strictly playing the code. So I will be back to take another code 2 entry. Okay, I've got a long position here. I am going to set the stop, I'll be right back.
the way I'm using a code one entry on this entry and uh, subsequently using a code one stop on this particular trade. Stop set to 03. Uh, exit. Exit right now is not that important. Uh, I'm trying to get the direction right here. This thing is pretty tricky and pretty choppy. Okay, we're going to get another. We're going to get another entry. If the stop gets hit, I'm not going to take a trade. I'm going to wait for a another code two to show itself on the chart. Ah, it's going to come get me. It's very tricky right now. I'll be back. You can see all the chop in the 10 minute here. Just chopping down, chopping back up. It's really choppy. And what's going to happen though is it's going to take a, a main direction here now. Uh, and I need to get that main direction right. I'm going to get an, a code 2 signal to go either go long or short. Let's see, do I have mathematical confirmation of a long yet? No, I do not. No, I, on the, on the second code 2, we still do not have mathematical confirmation that whether it's long or short. So the first one we do, it was a short. The second one we do not yet. And um, if that one goes short, I definitely will take it short. If it goes long, I am going to just uh, look for another code too to give me another one. Anyway, I'll come back. And plus, I'm already long, so I would just hold on to it. Okay, stop's been hit, and I am just looking for and waiting for a signal on another code 2 here let's see do we have mathematical confirmation yet taking a look no we do not still do not have mathematical confirmation I'm looking for another signal here I'll be back and as soon as I get one I'll take it okay I've taken a long position here Stop is going to be set to 69. 69 exactly. Okay, stop is in place. It's 11 to tick stop. Uh, if that stop were to get hit, I would take a short position. Uh, from here, I'm going to go for 100 ticks. So, if the stop gets hit and I go short, I'll also go for 100 ticks. Anyway, I will come back. By the way, we now have mathematical confirmation that the second code is a long entry. And the third code, we do not yet have mathematical confirmation of either a long or a short. But um, the, uh, main, uh, the main code is a long, unless of course it's offset. So right now we're looking pretty good in our position. And... Um, Hopefully it will just continue to go up and it will make it real easy for us. And we are looking good to go up on the daily here. Going down and going red for the day uh, did not look too good. But we're looking pretty good now. Going the right way on the two code twos. One of them with mathematical confirmation to go long. The other one hasn't given the confirmation yet. But uh, assuming that it does also go long, then it is going to continue to go up here. Anyway, I will come back. I accidentally just um, got an extra five contracts. So I'm now at ten contracts. I didn't actually mean to do that. So I am actually going to exit this trade here. And I'm just taking a look at the code and see what it looks like it's going to do. If it does start shooting up, I could put a, a break-even stop on it and let it go. Alright, let me go ahead and do that. I'm going to pl put a break-even stop on this thing. can't believe I made that mistake. Okay, break-even stop in place with 10 contracts. Again, this was only a mistake. I did not mean to use an extra five contracts. And uh, I accidentally hit the buy button. I had a 
another window up and I I hit it the button and it anyway it accidentally hit that buy button so anyway um, there's no way I can lose on this trade I got it uh, hit for break even and if it does continue to go up and I have the direction right then I'm gonna make more than I would normally would anyway I will come back okay uh, protective stops been hit I'm looking for a signal here off of the code 2. I'll be back as soon as I've gotten a signal and I'll take the entry. Okay, I have a long position here. Moving up pretty good. Going to set the stop at 69.21. 69.21. This is, uh, by the way, using a code to a breakout technique. Uh, in other words, we have mathematical confirmation that the code two is a long. So it is going to move up here. Stop is also not big at all. Stop is only at nine ticks. Nine ticks stop. So uh, if the stop were to get hit, I would take a short entry. Anyway, I will come back. Okay, it's uh, moving up pretty good here. And... Don't know how many ticks I'm going to go for, though. See, the top is sitting up at 69.60. We're almost there now. And my exit is way up at 70.30. That would put me up here have to go all the way up there to hit my 100 tick exit. Uh, I don't know that it's going to do anything like that today. So I'm going to go for something less. Let me figure out what a good good amount would be. Right now I'm using the... Let's see. About 70. Up to 70 looks like a good solid uh, go to trade. That only puts me 20 ticks more than where I'm at. 70 that would be a 40 tick trade all right let's see if it's got any more in today we'll let it go for a little bit here see what it wants to do i'll come back okay it is uh continuing to move up here i do not know though if it can make it to the exit it is pretty far away and the exit is at 70.30. Let's see here. I'm trying to figure this out. Well, we're sitting at the top of the daily. It's it's running. It's moving moving up. We're in the back of uh, two code twos to go long. Uh, uh, three code twos to go long. Yeah, we got three code twos to go long. Is that right? Yes. Yes. We have three code twos going along. So, yeah, it should go up. Okay, uh, three, let me think about this. Three code twos to go along. Yes, okay. All right, yeah, we should be able to hit 100 ticks on this. Uh, it's going uh, to hit 100 ticks. It's going to go up to 70, 30 to get me out for 100 ticks. I'd say the chances are pretty darn good because I've got three code twos to go along. Now, having said that, <laughs> I can take a look at look at it, the chart right now. It's setting up for a possible rollover here using another code. So it very well may do that. It may roll over and come back down using another code. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hang on to it here. And if that code goes long, then I'm just going to hold it. It'll go up and keep going up to my exit. If the code says go short, then I'm going to reverse the position and go short. So anyway, I'll be back. See, it's a piece of cake when you know the codes. Codes might get a little tricky here and there, and you may take some losses, but as long as you know the codes and can get it right the majority of the time because of the codes, then you can do really well. Anyway, I'll come back.
Okay, it's continuing to go up here, and we do have a code 2 long entry. However, it could be offset. Now, let's assume that it is going to be offset. Let's go ahead and set the stop. The stop will be set to 6967 for a protective stop. 6967. 6967. 6967 for a protective stop to lock in profits. Uh, that would actually be an offset for a rollover code. So if that stop gets hit, we're going to take it short. Otherwise, it is going to continue to go up, and it should go hit my exit. My exit is sitting at uh, 7030. It should go hit it, assuming it continues to go up, because if it continues to go up, then the code, the uh, rollover code is not going to be a rollover code. It's going to be a continuation code, and it would continue to go up. So, piece of cake. Once you learn how to read the codes, and you know which direction it's going to go. And w when, with respect to trading oil, when you know which direction it's going to go, eh, you do really good. You can do really good. And um, for all of you Charlie subscribers, I can already tell you what the code is for this week. It's not a problem. Uh, yeah, very easy to tell t today. So anyway, Actually, I take that back. It could be. Uh, it's still really good, though. It's going to be very. It's going to be an easy week this week. Okay, so getting closer to the hundred tick exit. There's forty ticks away now, and I just might be able to hit it. I am going to continue to lock in some ticks. Sixty-seven. Not yet, though. Anyway, I will come back. Okay, I've just jumped out of the trade. It might be rolling over here. Uh, if it is, it is going to go down to... Let's see, what was my original stop? 67, 69, 67. If it hits 69, 67, I will take it short code will be offset and it will be a rollover code 2 special which it looks like it's going to be and then we'll take another trade and I will go for let's see what is the day that look like uh, just like maybe go for just 40 ticks on this on this next this next trade here Unless it continues to go up. Uh, if it continues to go up, then what's going to happen is it will uh, it'll go back up, and I will take another. It'll break, and I will take a, a long entry. Piece of cake. When you know how to use the codes. The, the serious power of trading is put into your hands. That's for sure. Anyway, at, if this thing does go down and hits 67 on the price, I am going to go short. I'll be back. So you see the code doesn't just like give some signal like, go short now, or go long now. It doesn't do something like, it doesn't do anything like that. It actually tells you mathematically what to do. And it doesn't tell you, you basically look, can look at it, the chart, and figure it out for yourself. You figure out what the code is saying, wh what, which way it's going to go, and then you can narrow it down. You take a position. If you're right, you're going to win, and if you're wrong, it's going to hit your stop, and then you take the opposing position go the other way. And with that technique, you can get it right the vast majority of time. With the breakout technique, you can, as long as you are using the charting or doing it yourself, you know what the code 2 is, the breakout technique works fantastic the vast majority of time. I think it's going to hit 67 and that's going to trigger a short entry uh, using a code 2 special. And 
this actually won't be a breakout technique. So it won't be mathematically confirmed, but uh, the mathematical chances behind it are very good. But there will be a way for me to mathematically confirm it, and if I wanted to wait for it to be mathematically confirmed before I took an entry, I could do so very easily. Okay, if the price hits 93, right there, 69.93, I'm going to take it along. It's going to be a breakout. Breakout technique using code 2. Using the code 2 special, that would mean that it would continue to go, uh, continue to go higher. How high, I cannot say but it would continue to go higher. So anyway, um, just waiting to see if it's going to give me a signal, long or short here. And uh, when it does, I'll take a, an entry and come back. Okay, I have got a short position here. Going to reset the stop. Stand by. Setting this stop to 69.93. Yep, 69.93 on the stop. Sixty-nine ninety-three on the stop. Verifying stop. Yep, that is correct. Okay. Uh, this one I'm just going to go for... Let's see. Take a look at the daily. Yeah, we don't. We're not going to play it back very far here. Let's just play it back 40 ticks. 40 tick back. Take it down to 28. I have to go back 100 ticks here, and we'll take it all the way back to 28. Okay, 28 is 40 ticks. So we're going for a 40 tick trade here. I'll come back. Oh wait, uh, stop's already been set to 69.93. I'll come back. Okay, it's moving down here. Uh, we may get another code to short entry, short signal. Haven't gotten one yet though. But it is a possibility here. Uh, I will come back. Okay, I'm going to readjust the stop to 73. Really tight stop there. Okay, stop adjusted to 73. That's a uh, 5 tick stop. Uh, there's a reason for that. Uh, right now, technically, we have a code 2 long entry. If this stop gets hit, I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go along with it. If the stop does not get hit, then it'll go down and it'll show that it's offset. And it'll actually be a short entry instead of a long entry. Right now, we have a code 2 long entry in place. Stop gets hit. I'm going to take it long. I'll be right back. Okay, so far, it has come one tick away from my stop up to 72. Has not hit 73 yet. Okay, it has hit the stop and I've taken a long position here. It has given a long entry. It's not the way I thought it was going to go, but that is the way it is going. Setting the stop to 69.58 on the stop. 69.58. Verifying that stop. Stop is verified. Okay. I'm not going to go for 100 ticks here. You can see on the daily we are already stretched way out. I'm going to go for something more practical. How about, let's see, what code am I on here? Okay, I'm going to go for 40 ticks. Taking it up to 13. We'll go all the way up to 100 here and then we'll back off to a 40 tick exit, taking it down to 70, 13.
Okay, 7013 for a 40 tick exit. Boy, I'll tell you, the codes, they are all over the place today. See, we've got uh, long entry on that one. Long entry on that one. Okay, I take that back. All the codes are long entries, except for the first one, which was a short entry. Yep. Okay, it, it should be an easy day here. It's just going to stretch out because all the codes, including the last one, has just gone long. So it's just going to stretch out. How far out it's going to go, I can't say. Um, but hopefully I can get 40 ticks out of this one. I'll come back. Okay, the trade is starting to move higher here. I uh, needed to go break this top and then go up to the exit to... 70, 13 for 40 ticks and assuming that it will make it to the exit up there, that'll be my last trade. Uh, I probably could get more, but uh, it's already, what time is it here? It's already late. And I just got back from a weekend trip, so I'm really tired. It's almost 11 o'clock here at night, so I'm looking to get out and be done. And um, hopefully it won't take too much longer. And uh, if it does get about uh, oh, 15 ticks ahead or so up to the top up here, I'm going to place a break-even stop on it. Let it go. It'll either hit the break-even stop or hit my exit. And either way, I'll be done. It'll be my last trade. I'll come back. Since I really want to get out of this trade, I'm just going to place a break-even stop on it now. Put it one tick ahead of the entry. Comes back down now, hits the stop, breaks me even, I'm out, I'm done for the day. If it keeps going up and, and hits my exit, I'm done for the day. If it comes down and hits my break even stop and then goes back up and hits what would have been my exit, I don't care. <laughs> I'm done for the day. And But the point is not what it does today or you know, tomorrow or whatever, but what it does consistently over time. And that is the beautiful thing about the codes and the beautiful thing that you can read the codes and see which direction it's going to go. As you can see in these videos day after day, I'm able to do that. I'm able to tell which way it's able to which way it's going to go. And uh, sometimes I get it wrong and I lose the first trade, but then I come right back and get it right because the codes are so accurate. Anyway, uh, I'll be back once this thing has either hit the break-even stop or hit the exit. Okay, the trade has just come and hit the stop, so I am done for today. Uh, Monday here, I'll be back tomorrow to do some more code trading. Hope all of you code traders are doing great out there, and you had a good, good weekend. See you for tomorrow's trading. Happy trading, everyone.